What's good, YouTube? We back on this vampire. Um, no, last episode we woke up in the ditch. We didn't know what was going on. We woke up, had been bitten by a vampire, and so you know we were going to uh, going around town, trying to figure out what happened to us. And uh, we figured out this guy. He was he was draining like a bunch of bodies for blood. So we we finna pull up on him this episode. I guess he's supposed to be like a boss or something in this episode. So we're gonna we're gonna see what he got going. So we gotta um we gotta find. I forgot what the guy's name was. Let me pull up the map. Uh, where he at? He should be okay. That's the hideout. Main quest. How do we see what the main quest is? Okay, that's how I zoom in and that. Identify and confront the vampire who created me. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be doing. So we gotta find this guy. I forgot where he is. But we're gonna, we're gonna try to pull up on him and see what's happening. See what his hands like. And I remember coming over here. Um, I think we need to... Um, we need to get over here. Teleport over here. And I remember we was uh we were following the blood trails. So it should lead us to him. Should lead us to this guy. So we just gonna follow these blood trails, see what's going on. See where they take us. And we can teleport up there, but we don't wanna do that. We won't see any of these back here again. Okay, that's a guy over here. Okay, so the blood take us over here. We got some ops over here. So we gotta take them out. Stupid beast! Yeah, gonna take that blood. Come on, get him. I'm gonna kill him. What's going on? Yeah, this game hard. I, I'm. It's very hard. Let me see. What we get off him? Okay, bullets. I still don't know how to pull my strap out. But yeah, we need to uh, steady look for this blood till we find this guy. Okay, the blood going this way. North Dock. I could never harm you, Mr. Hampton. You are our only friend. Okay, we got some more. We got some more guys in here somewhere. Oh, this must be the guy. This gotta be. He need a. He say he need a drink. This creature is bedeviled. So this is him right here. Put it down. He a beast. So we need to go and get him out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Come on now. We gotta go and take him out. Can't heal myself because I ain't got no. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on, get him. I ain't got no uh, syringe or whatever you call this thing. Come on, get away. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Get him. We gotta go and take him out. Come on, get up, get away. That's what I'm talking about. Got him. We out here. 5150. Check on the victim. Okay, I guess this the victim. See what's up with him. 
William was an honorable man. We could have saved him. I didn't think Mr. I was gonna Hampton. beat him. Are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred. I don't know sir. if he's turning or what. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must. Oh, there he go again. Flock. They'll stray without me. That was not Tom back. Get him. Remember, I think this the lady that guy was talking to in the room on the last episode. What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait, you, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. He was already, I had him already down. But he did sneak up on you, boy, though. So I guess we finna save him a son. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Yes, sir. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. Okay, the guy's name was William. I couldn't no, think of his please, name. I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs The guy we just killed. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful and I'm sure he'll take good I guess care. he had got bidden too. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise and you'll need a he place was, to rest. You know, draining all the bodies for I blood. I just need a moment. You know them vampires crave that thirst for blood. I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay, check on the... Oh, that's what we just done. Gather a blood sample on William Bishop's corpse. Where is it? This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Okay, so we gotta find a place to analyze this blood. Let me see. Hey, that what's up. We're gonna ride out with him. See where he's taking us. We got us going, bruh, bruh. Dude over the where slump. Are we we're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important William thing is that was he's a vampire. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play <laughs> say what woman. You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Bro, who is she? He won't well, tell me as peaceful nothing. as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. We're traveling by boat. I, I guess it is like 1918 or something like this. Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, yeah, investigator a surgeon of some. some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. <laughs> Dr. Reed, marvelous. Bro, you know me. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. Oh, bro, where you got us going? That word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but 
when myth walks among us the brotherhood of saint paul has dedicated its purpose to to our location there's so much for you to learn of that you are right well then let me be blunt join my staff at pembroke hospital as a physician i suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your Modern gave me a job. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother, but alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Doctor Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Oh, what's up? So, what do you say? We are here bloody. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Let's get it then. We getting paid. So we finally found the William Bishop, you know, laid him down. Now we just got offered a job at this pimp broke hospital <clears throat> as a, a physician, a doctor. So I guess he trying to figure out how he um how he got bid and Dr. stuff Swansea, like that. Thank goodness. I was so we here. To be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Got a new fit on, oh, clean Dr. clothes. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scout said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor. Doctor Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. Oh, I'm talking about in blood transfusion. Top flight physician of the world, doctor. Craig. Oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. <laughs> Dude, crazy. Okay, what we need to do? Let me see, do we need to talk to her or something? We'll have a word in my office. Analyze William Johnson. Bishop blood in the hospital. Okay, take me to the hospital. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Can I Hampton talk to her? Me right now. So I guess we gotta uh, enter the... Okay, we gotta enter the hospital. Come on, you bastard! You um, knew better than that. Nah, it's not. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh man, he just shanked him. Rotten old Christie, each heart contains the sweat of life. Drink at this river. Try man, see what's going on here. Oh come on, you bastard! I won't buy. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Let me see. I'll let you bleed. I've a mind to let you bleed out. Good luck then, sir. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better Should've place. Should've let his guts fall out. Okay, the blood quiet because I have much XP. Obtained from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quiet, the more XP you get. Okay, that was up. 
to drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. You mesmerize them must be equal or higher than the citizen resisting. Oh, okay. We ain't trying to do that though. Are we finna take his drink his blood or something? Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Follow the red trail to lead your prey into the shadows. Am I following the red trail? I don't even see the red trail no more. Oh, it's going back this way. Hey, blood temptation. Press A to embrace Clay Cox or B to release him. Brace Clay will provide a massive X boost, XP boost, but beware that there will be consequences. Learning more about. Okay, we're gonna. I guess we're releasing. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. Yeah, I will you say it can be consequences life. for that. So we ain't we ain't gonna do that. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Come on, bro. We ain't on that right now. We trying to get to this hospital. Come on, I don't have all night. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll oh. ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. No, what I'm You'll talking find about. on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Already. I have a I few questions. I would like questions. to ask a few questions first. Uh, who is Dr. Swanson? What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. That wasn't, that didn't answer nothing. I only just Apologies, met him. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. He knows me more than I know it's him. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. I'm out of here. Where's my room? If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, nurse Crane. Get out of my face. Find your office on your second floor. Who is this dude? Can I talk to him? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. Okay. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, really? Let me see. Let's trade. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Okay, buy. Okay, we can buy straps from him. Okay, this is a double barrel shotgun possessed by Milton Hooks. Probably obtained as payment from a soldier. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. 
I don't guess we can buy nothing right now. Let me see how much he asking for this. Five, it ain't showing. Oh, 315. Okay, we just got 27, so we can't buy nothing. I'll get up with you, bro, bro. Go find this Dr. room. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Where my room at? Is it on up? Must not be. Okay, they got my room way back here. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Yes, sir. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Okay, this is a craft table. I guess we can craft different stuff. Yeah. A fresh sample of William's blood and a small tube. Okay, we gotta analyze it. I forgot about that. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. Well, I gotta I'll lay down. tomorrow night. I have so much time. Let me see if I can, uh, I can acquire another power. Let me see, you throw a spear. Hmm. I want this, though. Let's see if I can get that. Got it. So we done unlocked another power. The vampire concentrates shadows around their prey to make them explode after a countdown. This explosion will injure anything in range with needle-like living spirits vampires often use the ability to wipe out groups of enemies from a distance they'll think they can challenge us with their tool but no one can defeat the shadows okay that's what i'm talking about so we got us a a new uh and we're level five i see that i i didn't notice that until i watched the first video but we're level five now so let me see if we got some xps for something else let me see if we can uh get this one. Nah, we ain't got enough for them. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. Like, share, comment. Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter. Links in the description. Get at your boy. Peace. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? <laughs>